Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Monday, May 23rd, 2022. Number one. Three days after primary election results were too close to call, the race for the U.S. Congress in District 12 in Pennsylvania now has a proclaimed winner. It's State Representative Summer Lee. In 2018, Lee became the first black woman from southwestern Pennsylvania to be elected to the state legislature. And with a win in November, Summer Lee will become the first black woman to represent Pennsylvania in the U.S. Congress. And don't forget, Tuesday is primary voting day in Georgia. Alabama and Arkansas. Runoff elections will take place in Texas. Number two, countless news outlets have chronicled the communications between Virginia Jenny Thomas and the Trump White House. Numerous emails were revealed from the wife of the Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas encouraging Donald Trump's chief of staff Mark Meadows to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Now the Washington Post reports the recent discovery of emails that Jenny Thomas sent urging Arizona lawmakers within her friend and business networks to reverse Donald Trump's loss. Number three, the White House is planning for dire contingencies that could include rationing supplies of vaccines and treatments this fall if Congress does not approve more money for fighting COVID-19. In public comments and private meetings on Capitol Hill, a White House coronavirus coordinator has painted a dark picture in which the U.S. could be forced to cede many of the advances made against the coronavirus over the last two years. Biden administration officials have been warning for weeks the country has spent nearly all the money in the one $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan that was dedicated directly to COVID-19 response. Number four, Florida's Department of Education is requesting book publishers to keep critical race theory or CRT and social justice out of K-12 through social studies textbooks. The request comes amid a push from Republican Governor Ron DeSantis' administration to crack down on public school curriculum, particularly as it relates to to race and gender. CRT has never actually been a part of Florida's public school curriculum. However, DeSantis has led a crusade against the framework by claiming that its principles are entering kids' education, thus making it an indoctrination. Number five, the first shipment of baby formula arrived from Switzerland to the United States Sunday morning. As part of the Biden administration's Operation Fly Formula, the president invoked the Defense Production Act to boost the decimated baby formula supplies in this country. A military plane carrying 78,000 pounds of infant formula landed in Indianapolis in the Sunday shipment was the first of several plane loads scheduled to arrive over the next few days. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. There is freedom in speaking truth to power. Mm. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with comedians Chris Paul and Huggy Lowdown, along with social justice activist Coy Malone as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the American Heart Association. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.